The Amazon River is home to a terrifying collection of man-eating monsters. Uh, so, uh, what'd you think of that? A uh, little much? Not enough? Let me know. I certainly had fun with it. I showed you a lot of really cool fish, a lot of predatory fish, a lot of teeth. All those fish are found in the Amazon River. You probably guessed then, today's video, we're talking about a fish found in the Amazon River. But, we're not talking about any of those fish that I showed you. Today we are talking about vicious little man-eaters known as piranha. Now piranhas are arguably one of the most misunderstood fish, uh, not just in the aquarium fish keeping hobby, but just in general. And uh, that really stems from just one person. Ooh, I missed my chair. And it really stems just from one person who just so happened to be a president. So the story goes that back in 1913, Teddy Roosevelt took a team of explorers down to Brazil. The Brazilians then wanted to make sure that the Americans enjoyed themselves, so they rounded up hundreds of piranha and kind of netted them off into a small little section of the river, and then proceeded to starve these fish. Once the Americans got there, the Brazilians pushed a sickly dying cow into the water where the piranha proceeded to rip that cow uh, straight down to the bone. Teddy Roosevelt, having seen this, having no experience with the piranha, then wrote that the piranha was a cannibal fish, a fish that would eat a man if given the chance, and I showed you that quote at the beginning, called them the most ferocious fish in the world. So these images that Teddy Roosevelt saw, he then took back and created like this, this fear and this image that piranhas are these like vicious little killing machines that'll take on anything. and. That image is actually still being portrayed today in like major movies like this one. God, don't do that. And then you can find it on YouTube too, where it's just as common to see someone actually like taking care of piranha and making videos about them as it is finding people unboxing piranhas from the dark web and making like thumbnails where their hand is just like nothing but bone. And I mean no disrespect to the people that make those videos, they have millions of views and millions of subscribers and that's how YouTube works, so props to them, that's just not how piranhas actually act. Now there are YouTubers out there making videos of like actually taking care of piranhas and trying to show how they naturally behave and one of those is actually my buddy over at Bearski Method who has a bunch of piranhas and some awesome videos and uh, in my opinion he's like the king of piranhas on, on all of YouTube. So. Uh, for today's video, I decided to wash my hands and then channel my inner bearski and go out and actually pick up some piranha of my own. So I washed my hands again and then headed off to the local fish store in the middle of like a rainstorm, much like the Amazon. I have to walk in there. All right, you guys are in my coat. Let's go. Ah. Now I knew exactly what I was going in to find. I knew I wanted uh, six little baby piranhas because piranhas do best, they're most comfortable in shoals. Uh, in the aquarium you want to do about four or more, so I wanted to do six. I knew what I was looking for. I got very distracted by some of the other fish. Damn. and eventually found what I was looking for. Yeah. 
They're like so small, my camera can't even focus. Maybe. Now I already had the aquarium set up and uh, you know I wanted to try live plants because I have zero success with live plants so why not try it with piranhas which I've heard don't always do great with live plants. And then I acclimated the piranha. They're so small. I released the piranha into the aquarium. I filmed the little tiny piranha. <laughs> and immediately fell in love with these guys because they are already more comfortable and calm in my little tiny 15 gallon aquarium here than they were in the store. And I even reached out to Bearski and said, hey buddy, this is what I got. Do you have any advice for me? And the best piece of advice he gave me was to actually interact with them often to uh, get comfortable. So I'm filming here, you know, putting my hand in front of the tank and, you know, pressing my face up against the glass. Hello, piranha. Letting them know that I'm here. So obviously this 15 gallon aquarium is not a forever home and they're actually gonna outgrow it very quickly but the beauty of having like 20 plus tanks and a bunch of pools is I have room to move them when they grow. So we have piranha in the tank, we have a bunch of food lying around, we apparently have like man-eating potential so there's only one thing left to do and that's doing an epic feeding montage with some killer tunes. Pun intended. I mean, wow! Am I right? Who needs a movie with Adam Scott? Excuse me, but is that a f***ing piranha? And a bunch of fake blood when you could get the real stuff right here on SC Fishkeeping. <laughs> All right, guys. So before I wrap it up, one thing I'm going to say is I have been talking to a few people who have pointed out that one of the biggest flaws that I have um, personally and on my channel is I get all these awesome fish and then I don't really update you on them. Um, so I'm going to change that. We're going to start doing some updates and stuff. So I need you guys to go down to the comments and let me know what fish you guys want updates on. Uh, bowfin, you know, the wipers, smallmouth, musky, whatever you want to see. Let me know down below and I will try and get some videos out with some updates on some of my fish. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully you guys are excited about my six little baby piranhas as always if you can think of like an awesome group name you guys named the bowfin huey dewey and louie which i thought was hilarious so uh thank you for that but give me a name for the the piranhas like a group name or individuals hopefully you guys are excited for future videos on them again let me know what you want to see update wise and now i'm just rambling so thanks for watching hit that thumbs up drop a comment let me know whatever and uh, subscribe if you have not already and as always until the next video, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to